हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी शोइंग यू दैट हाउ बेसिकली वी कैन इंटीग्रेट ओ ऑट टू लॉग इन इन साइड अवर व्यू जे एस एप्लीकेशन यूजिंग ऑथ जीरो पैकेज सो दिस इज बेसिकली द डेमो ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन सो वेन एवर यू लॉग ऑन द एप्लीकेशन यू विल बी बेसिकली बी सींग ए लॉग इन बटन आउट देयर सो वेन यू क्लिक दिस लॉग इन बटन गाइज इट विल रीडायरेक्ट यू टू दी जस्ट टी it will show you the user profile information which is coding siksha this is the email address this is the profile picture and we will basically have a log out button so if i click log out i will be redirected back to the home page and once again if i click log in you will see it will basically have this login screen so here you can sign in with google we have various social media providers such as facebook twitter but specifically we will be looking at uh, signing with google using auth0 package so if i click this i will be once again redirected it will give me the username email address and this is your profile picture so if i open this now this is your profile picture so all this information we will be showing guys so let me first of all show you the package that we are using so auth0 it's basically makes uh, implementing social logins very easy so you can see secure access for everything so if you don't want to build so authentication from ground up you can use this uh, application website it provides 7000 users free logins so after that you need to pay so you can see we have to create a application here so inside of our view js application it has a separate package so i have already made a very simple view js application so now let me start from scratch so let me delete all this source code and inside main dot js uh, let me just delete this and start from scratch so the very first thing you need to do guys inside this application now if you see uh, nothing will be there so it is saying that script is required for a single component so yeah so we need to write something here so we can say here inside the template we can have a div tag which is saying hello world you will see that hello world is showing here and now we need to create a new application guys so this will be a single page application we can call this as view auth and we can click on create so this will create this uh, application so now the very first thing we need to do guys we need to select here view js because we are building it for view js and here basically guys you would need to uh, first of all install this package which is npm install this one i have given all the source code guys in the description of the video so basically you can check out the description to get all the source code so simply install this package npm install at the rate auth0 auth0 dash view i have already installed it after this you just need to go to your uh, here this function here so let me just write this so go to your main dot js file of your view js project and write inside this file guys you need to face basically first of all import a package right here at the top which will be create auth0 from this package that we installed and right here we need to add a function guys use which is a middleware function and here we will call create auth0 and this is basically a function and it takes an options first is domain name so all such information will be given inside your dashboard guys client id as well so this will be different for your project and the third one will be authorization parameters so authorization params and this is basically an object which is redirect uri and here we will simply say window dot location dot origin like this so here uh, guys we just need to basically implement uh, paste all such information you can go to settings here and you can get this information just copy this paste it here and your client id will also get right here so simply copy and paste it right here that's all so now you need to close this file now inside your app dot view file guys we will basically have a button here inside the template so we will simply have a button here so which will say login that's all so now guys if you basically click this button so we will need to give a add the red click 
So whenever we click it, we will execute this function which is login. So this function which will be executed guys, so now we just need to make our script tag. So now we will define this function. So right here guys, first of all, we just need to say export default and then inside this we will define a function called as setup. So inside this setup function guys, right here, in the very top we will need to make a, uh, just uh, import a package which will be use auth 0 like this and from this we just need to import some of the methods which are available so we will use destructuring here and this basically it's a hook here and from this hook where we have various methods out there which is login with pop-up or redirect so we can just do all this we also have the logout method, we also have the authenticated user, we also have is authenticated property as well. So this makes sure that uh, it automatically checks that if the user is logged in or not. So all such methods are available guys inside this uh, package. And now we simply need to have to export those methods. So we will say return. Inside this we will define that function guys which we executed which we defined on the button click. So when we click the login button, we will execute this button here. You will see method here. Inside this guys, we will simply say login with pop-up. So now if you refresh your application guys, if I refresh it, it is saying login with direct is, so let me just delete this. So if you now click guys, you will see a message will be there. It error will occur that callback URL mismatch. So here you need to add this callback URL guys which is localhost 8080 inside your project. So go to your application and right here inside your settings paste here local allowed callback URLs and also allowed logout URLs and allow also allowed web origins. Simply paste this and now after this you need to click save changes. So now after you click it this error message will go away. And now you will see a screen here, sign in with Google. You need to grant permission here. And once you grant permission, you will see that sign in with Google. So this is the first way and we can even have the second way as well. The second method is login with redirect and we can call this method also. So the difference is that you will be re redirected. So depending upon which method you like, you, you can see it will be redirecting you to a this website and then you need to select so totally up to you whichever method that you like for login and after this I personally like the login with pop-up method because this makes sure that the user doesn't uh, leave the website so after this guys uh, we can have uh, also have the user property so we can simply say extract the user here logged in user we can put comma user so we can export this user property as well so we are exporting this user object guys so this will hold the information about the user and now to display the information about the user guys we can simply say here inside our h2 tag we can say simply I think we need to use double curly brackets. You will say user dot name. So you can see all this information is available. Nickname, given name, which user dot email. And lastly, we have user dot picture. So if you now see guys, uh, refresh, click on login. If you click this button, sign in with Google. You will see it will display this information to you uh, after you grant this. You need to authorize this app. Click on the access button. You can see that coding section. This is the email address. So now what we need to do guys, we need to hide this login buttons once we are authenticated and also we need to show the logout button. So basically guys, we can have a if condition here. So we can wrap this all this inside a if condition. 
So once we are logged in, we need to show. So we can say we can use this directive vf and we can have a condition here. So right here inside this guys, we have a property is authenticated. We can uh, export this variable. This is a Boolean parameter guys. It will either return true or false depending upon your user is authenticated. We can simply use this variable is authenticated. So this will return either true or false. And now we can replace this as logout. So method will be logout. And uh, we also will be saying div. And we can say that v else. And instead, if the user is not authenticated, we will show the login button. So we will say login. So we will simply bind a on click login that's all so now guys depending upon whether the user is logged in or not logged in we will show this conditionally so now we simply need to execute this logout method this is very simple guys we will simply say logout and uh, we have a simple method guys if you see we just need to import this method logout that's all So put a comma, that's all. So this may, this is your complete application guys. If you refresh now, it will automatically detect that you are logged in and now it will show you this logout button. You will see and this user information. If I any click logout, I will be redirected back to the home page. Now if I refresh this, you will see automatically this will stay on the home page and login button will be showing. Again, if you grant access, you need to select the click this so you will now see this is your profile picture email address and the display name so in this way guys you can integrate auth0 package inside your Vue.js application all the source code is given in the description of the video thank you very much for watching this video and i will be seeing you in the next live stream